Hello and welcome to this review of Studia. I'm Big G Video and I make videos about making videos. So this is Studia. This cost me $37 and we are in the dashboard. So let's look at making a video. So first of all, we go to create a video and we can do it from audio or from a script. I'm today gonna to do it from a script. Now what's good is we can pick landscape square or vertical. Let's stick with landscape for now. Let's call it demo landscape and we type our script out. So I'm gonna type my script out and I, I just typed it out and of course you could just paste it in and there's a button here so that you can record your script if you want to so I'm going to add some additional things now don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you could see there that I just spoke the words in so if you want to you can just speak the words in now you can set your target for each scene I'm going to leave it at the default I'm not going to use this ignore paragraph I'm just going to put that up there as well and we've also got something called an AI writer and AI rewriter now you'll notice up here I've got 24 credits now each credit is a video so when you buy studio you get 25 credits and each time you make a video that costs a credit now if you want to use an AI writer that costs a credit as well so now that I've typed my script out I'm going to submit it. So it tells me it's going to use one credit. Yes, I do want to continue. And my slides are now being created. So what it's done is it's found media and it's put them to my slides. So it's converted the text into a slide. So the text is written across the slide and it's found media that it thinks is suitable for my slide or suitable for my story. Mm, let's see. So this text, I'm not really sure on the style, so I can go here and I can change the style. I think I might want something just a bit different. So, so I want the text color to be white. And I'm going to click apply. Yeah, so I'm going to go to bottom center. Much better. Yeah, they may be watching a video. That's okay. So let's go to the next scene. It would be better if we had different media. We don't want the same thing again for the same scenes. I'm going to search for video editing in clips. Not a great selection has come up, but I'll pick this one. I'm going to re re replace for this slide only. Yeah, so it's not a great deal of media I'm getting here. So let's go to this scene. This is annoying because it's put the same bit of clip in for the poll video. All right, so again, I want this down the bottom. So I'm going to search for video editor. There's nothing. Uh, that's not good. So with this type of product, you need to have access to quite a large library. Let's just click on editing, see what we get. That's better. Let's go for this one. And let's look for money. Oh no, there's another one here. Oh, that's interesting. So I need to go and change that. Let's look for a subscribe. Not really much, but let's go for this one. That was odd that it said replace for all slides in the scene. So now I click on save. I've done my scenes, I go to next, and I can have no voiceover, I can have TTS, or I can record my own voice. Today I'm going to have TTS, and I'm going to use Guy, and I'm not going to check what Guy sounds like, because I'll find out in a moment. I'm going to click create voiceover. So now if we wanted to, we could re-record the slide, we can remove the slide, we can play it to check it, or we can mute it. I'm just going to go to next. I'm going to put this on to enable transitions between slides. Now it's currently working away in the background and it seems to be taking a while so I'll come back to you once it's finished. So that's finished and I can now click finish to go and make it. I can add some background music in, it's defaulted to gentle piano music. So I'm going to go to finished and now my video has been created. I can download the video or I can view it I guess. 
So I'm going to download it so we can see what it's like. So each time you download, you've got to render the video. Hello, did you know that vertical videos are really taking off now that YouTube has released shorts? So how do you make a vertical video? Firstly, consider using Studio for your editing as this can edit and create vertical videos. But is Studio any good and is it worth £37? Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was that was quite a good video. And I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for vertical this time. And this time I'm gonna use the AI writer. So I need to give it something to write about. So I've gone for video editing with different footage from different cameras. Now that's maybe a difficult thing to, for an AI writer to do. Let's have a look. So it tells me it's going to cost me a credit. Fine. So I've clicked generate and I'm just waiting for the AI to write something out. I put my minimum words at 200. So I'm just skimming through this. I'm going to use this script. It's cost me a credit. I'm going to call it video editing for multiple cameras. Now I could use the AI rewriter if I want to. I'm not going to. And I'm going to submit this. And it's going to, of course, cost me a credit. Now this time I'm not going to make any edits. I'm going to do this fully auto and I'm going to see what studio gives me i'm not going to make any changes i'm just going to go and publish it i've written the script wholly from ai and i've not changed it although I, I guess i could have changed it there back in that previous screen so i've gone through and i've made that video automatically i put tts on but before i show you the video i just want to talk and give my thoughts about studio before we see that final video is it any good when i first used it i was a Bit disappointed with it. It had a few bugs, but the second day of using it, it's worked fine. It's on par. Well, it's, it's it's a poor man's Pictori AI really because the stock footage isn't as good. There isn't as much choice, and sometimes you search for something, you're going to come up with nothing. You don't get that in Pictori AI. You get much better stock footage. Of course, Pictori AI costs a lot more money. So, is Studio good? It is a good product, but it is let down by the credit system. So you pay $37 and you get 25 credits. And of course, you're going to use those really quickly because if you use the AI and use the AI rewrite, and every time you make a video, it costs you a credit. Now, you might say, oh, you can buy more credits. But if I want to buy more credits, 100 are $127. Now, you can subscribe monthly. It costs you a dollar and then every month afterwards it's $37. So to me, Studio is too expensive because of these credits. You're not going to buy this and then use 25 and go, oh, OK, that's done. You want this to be unlimited, really, or at least the credits to refresh every month. And they don't refresh every month. So great for pricing, but it does make, I think, good videos. Now let's see how it did making a video on complete auto. The most common mistake in video editing is using too much footage. You can't just throw in any footage into your project and expect it to work. If you do, you'll end up with a very confusing and difficult to watch movie. In order to create a great movie, you need to know how to use all of the footage you have. You need to know when to use it and where to place it in your final product. There are several ways that you can use your footage to make a good video. Let's look at three of them. One, the first way to use your footage is by having it as a part of your opening sequence. This is one of the most important parts of your video because it sets the tone for the rest of the video. It should be interesting enough that the viewer will want to keep watching. If it's boring, they won't. Two, the second way to use your footage is to put it in the middle of the movie. This is where the viewer gets to see the story unfold. If there are parts that are too long, you can cut them down to fit into the time available. Three, the third way to use your footage is as a transition between scenes. This is where you show the audience what happened before the scene and what happens after the scene. You don't have to use all of the footage in your video. In fact, you shouldn't use all of it. There's no reason why you should waste your valuable time and resources on something that doesn't make sense. 
As long as you know how to use your footage properly, you can create a wonderful movie that everyone will enjoy.